Hey time travelers, this is a follow-up video for the mouse mod I did on my other Logitech M525. I put kale switches in it. Now I'm going to try Omron switches. The reason, because it did not relieve the stress in my knuckle as much as I hoped it would. So I thought about the mouse that inspired this modification, which is Ducky Secret. And I went to the product page to figure out what switch they were using. And I got a little bit of a clue. Check this out says Japanese Omron micro switches. Ducky Secrets micro switch is using Japanese made Omron switch D2F-01F. Japanese made Omron switch is more durable and also gives a more sedate feeling. Like what? That's probably why I missed it before because it uses weird words with the bad English translation if you know what I mean. I'll get my soldering iron out. I was I'm going to shoot a video of modifying this webcam to be a security cam to work with my IBM T60 laptop that I upgraded and modified. But my super glues are all dried up, so I have to buy more super glues. Get subscribed if you want to see what the heck I'm talking about and how that turns out. I should get the mouse apart and less steps and less struggles than before. Lol. First thing you do is pop off the battery cover. Then you take your batteries out. Also your dongle, 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 dongle. Then you have to slide off these two feet. I stick them on the edge of my magnetic parts tray because they're icky sticky. There's no screws under there. Let's move this foot. Oh, here we go. I found the screw holes. You take the two screws out. You just gotta figure out which way it wants to slide. There we go, slides that way. Come out, come out, come out, whatever you are. And then you open it like this, sideways so you, this cable doesn't get yanked on. And then you unplug it. I use the tweezers. And it's got a single screw right there. Then we've got these clips that hold down the PCB. But before I actually take the PCB out, I have to take the mouse wheel out. This part here can be popped up. Comes out that easy. Set that aside. Now, these are kale. Interesting. Let's see if you can see this. One of the more better of mouse switches. Also keyboard switches. Not as good as Cherry MX switches in my opinion. Come here, helping hands. You need to help with your hands. Okay, left is right and right is left because it's upside down. I think it took apart too fast because this thing isn't hot yet. Oh, here we go, it's getting there. Not hot enough. Make sure it's screwed on. Screwed on a little better. Waiting. Now what I'm gonna try doing is putting on new solder and then sucking that off. I probably don't need the helping hands for this part, actually. Okay, got all that heated up. It's not working! Take one of these tar pick looking things from the iFixit toolkit. Shove it under the switch here. I've done this method to change out joysticks in PS3 controllers. Kind of like pull that way while heating and pushing down on the con... Uh, the leg of the switch and it makes your thing fly away yeah. that won't that worked see now it's that far and I go down to the other end now I've got the switch out you know it's a matter of cleaning your holes that's not appropriate clean the hole yep Oh, it's clogged. My fucker, it's clogged. Let's see how hard it is to unclog it. Okay, that doesn't seem to want to come off, even though it looks like it should. That's why I couldn't get to work earlier. I'd use my mad skills to get the solder off. It was all clogged. And so in the spirit of transparency, I have to let you guys know. The next step, I'm going to do differently than I did the last video. 
because I did it the wrong way in the last video. I put the component in and then I tinned the legs with tinned with with flux. Sorry, I was having a brain fart. So I'm gonna do this time. I'm putting it in this, this not so helpful hands because it's all flimsy and cheap. Grab something that's not a toothpick because I wish I had a toothpick. It's way easier with a toothpick. Got a paper clip here, which is here for some reason. I put this in the PCB and then did this. And what happened was it made it all kludgy. Like the mouse clicks didn't always work. So I had to take the mouse apart, take the switch out, clean it, put it back in. Then the mouse was working. What it, what I had discovered when I took the mouse apart was that the flux had re-solidified and was like all goopy between the switch and the PCB. You just heat it up until you see the resin turn brown on the leg. And so I don't have that problem again. I'm gonna go get my rubbing alcohol, which I forget like I always do on my freaking video. Q-tips are down here at least. I'm just gonna clean that off. Come here, PCB. You're part of this scene. I'll put this switch right through the holes. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna do it the way that I did before I had all these crazy tools. <laughs> One hand to hold the component to the other. Mouth. Forgot. What? And then actually you can see me on camera three what I'm doing. Mouth. All right, it's in there. Oh, I can already tell it has a more sedate feeling. Sarcasm. I don't even know what that means. It wants to put me to sleep for a surgery. Dr. Mouse, your patient is ready. <sighs> we gave him a more sedate feeling. You could get the scalpel. But nurse, we're not cutting into him in this session. Bring me the hammer. Ooh, that got dark. Ew, clean it, it's so dirty. And then the Q-tip was black. With the dark. Switch is on. Let's flip it off. And figure out which way this thing goes. Go in there. Off on. Okay, that's correct. Mouse wheel. Where you at? Dude. Clean that. This one's way dirtier than my other one. So I took the mouse wheel out of it. Cage. Icky, 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 grass. Now this thing has to go with this thing inside of this thing, which is a springy thing. And then the wheel. Click, click. Good. Let's give it another another, another scrub down because it feels sticky. Icky, icky sticky. Mouse thing back in the thing. And doing the Morse code. What am I saying? You're saying. Are you just typing random letters, sir? All right, front first, slide forward. And hold that. Oh, wait, I forgot to screw down the PCB. First thing you do is screw down the PCB. Right there. Then you slide the front into the front. Like so. I said like so. Then you put your two screws back. Then you cover up. Should have said it earlier. Then you cover up your screw holes with the feet. I touched the sorry iron now. It's a line. It's a line of pain. Just trying to grab my batteries. I wasn't being careful. Put your batteries in. Put your cover on. The dongle's over there in the danger zone. Plug it in, plug it in. Boom. Setting up a device. Do I have to take a nap? I did it again! I did the same thing that I did in the last video. I put it back together without plugging in the PCB. Lame! I am so dissatisfied with myself right now. Don't be like Rob. Plug in your PCB before you reassemble. And this is a lesson learned for lots of mods, not just the imp. 525 mouse mod. Why? Struggle and make struggle faces because I put in that screw too tight? Oh yeah, you have to eject the door first. Boink. 
And you have to take the batteries out first. first. It's just now done setting up my Logitech unifying receiver. Slide it out, slide it out, I said. Why are you making this difficult? Mouse clicky, middle wheel thingy. Stay in your hole. The hole is your home. I'm sorry about earlier. Not plugging you back in. I swear I won't do it again. Next time will be more betters. But that's what you said the last time with the red M525. And you put it back together with no wire. How could I ever trust you again, owner? Okay, all right, on. It already feels so much nicer than a right click because the right click is the the kale whatever's and the left click is the D2F01F Omrons. It feels amazing. It feels more sedate. That's it for this video. I'm gonna try this as my daily driver for a while. Thanks for watching. I've been Robert Sheen. Here's my most recent sci-fi video if you wanna watch that because I make really hilarious sci-fi videos. I get tons of views on them. And here's whatever YouTube thinks is best for you or you might like. Here's where you can subscribe. And over here is my at, so you can at me on one of these social platforms. Thanks for watching the show. I've been Robert Jean, bye.